name is Nini and this is Burj Al Arab. Today we're going to meet with a person who knows everything about travel, tourism and business. We have a unique opportunity to meet with Isan Kazim who knows everything in negotiating and facilitating that contribute overall growth in visitation to the city. What is the main role and mission of Dubai Tourism? Dubai Tourism's role or mission is very, very simple. We want to become the number one most visited city in the world. It sounds not easy at all. <laughs> so what do you do for this? What we do is that we look after the marketing of the destination, we look at the sales of the destination and the PR of the destination. So for us, the whole mandate revolves around being a uh, friendly leisure uh, place for families yes. and um, also a business destination because that contributes to about 20% of our overall visitor numbers but the contribution that you get from that 20% is significant so we make sure that we are activating our campaigns around the world in all the countries that we yes. can attract tourists from we also make sure that we are bidding and pitching for the best global conferences to attract them to come to Dubai and therefore bring people and visitors to Dubai. It's very interesting that you spoke about this because DDCM is very, very successful. So what is your key that leads you to this success? Visionary leadership, first and foremost, because the way that the design of Dubai and Dubai's agenda and, and everything that Dubai is built on is, comes directly from the leadership. They know that if we want to do something, we want to do it best, we want to be number one. So in order to do that, we have a, one of the safest countries and cities in the world. That's amazing and I can, all I can say is the big respect because all what you do is very, very impressive. What is the journey to be that successful and what do you think, what takes it to be successful? Anything that Dubai decides to do, it doesn't do it in, on its own. It brings the entire city, the community together. So looking back to It's COVID, like a big teamwork. 100%, <laughs> even including the population. So COVID, we can put all the policies and procedures in place. But the whole society that's made up of 200 different nationalities that have chosen Dubai to be home yes. and make up over 80% of the population, when the policies were put in place, everyone wore the masks, everyone practiced social distancing, everyone respected the rules, and that's, that's so what's true. amazing about it. And I cannot not ask you about the vaccination, because everyone in the world speaks about Dubai, because in Dubai, everything you do, it's very, very well organized, because people were even saying that we received the text message yes. that you need your second dose. So how did you deal that everything was so organized? We have a high number of vaccination rollout in Dubai. Um, we were competing at number one, number two position from the time that things rolled out globally. So when Dubai rolled these things out, again, like I said, it's getting private and public sector to work together. Let me give you an example of the lockdown. Yes. When the lockdown happened, there were strict curfews. When the curfews were there, meaning that you cannot go anywhere in the city from a certain time to a certain time. Yes. But there might be emergency needs. Yes. So what did the government do? The government actually rolled out an app immediately for everyone. You can use the app to register your name, your car plate number, tell them what is the need of your emergency to go out in the city, you will get a message that tells you you're approved, you can go and, and go to the uh, pharmacy or go to the grocery shop for whatever your necessity is, and you have that window only. Mm -hmm. This way they were able to manage who's on the street, when, at what time and where. These are the kind of things that we do immediately. How did you manage all of this? Because it's a teamwork, because you always communicate with everyone, or what, what's the key of this success? But that is the nature of Dubai. Dubai is, does not think as a government. Dubai thinks like a private startup company that's young. Mm. Every department works like a department of one, one brand, one product. So when, when we want to do something from a tourism perspective, you get the municipality, you get the economic department, you get the, you get the RTA, road and transport. Everyone gets together to make sure that that vision is a success because Dubai is successful then. And that's how we work. And in the private sector, in case of COVID, they jump on board, they activate all these tents and, and hubs and zones for people to be able to go and get their tests done, to get their vaccination done, to put this uh, vehicle that goes from place to place to help people get their vaccine at their doorstep. Those are the kind of initiatives that happens only when you get the private and public sector working together. Dubai's optimistic visitors, they will return, but the numbers, they are unclear. So yes. how will you reach 20 million people by 2021? Our ambitious goals have always been such. We always look at targets that are really, really high up there and, and many people find it impossible. And we believe that impossible yes. does not exist in our book, right? Um, when we started our journey on the um, 
with the new strategy in 2013, we were at 10 million visitors and we were number seven. We said we want to be number one globally. Mm. We started to grow and in 2019, we closed up with 16.73 million tourists. Plus, Dubai's open skies policies. That means anyone can fly into Dubai. It shows you the appetite that Dubai has, the ambition that Dubai has. Today, we're number four most visited city in the world. Right? So even prior to COVID. The idea is to be become number one. Absolutely. <laughs> Always is to become number one. If you look at that number itself, in 2019, we had 16.73 million. So if I take you back again to our uh, strategy that was rolled out in 2013, from 10 million visitors, our objective was clear to become number one. During COVID, during lockdown, a lot of people found themselves stuck in Dubai. The borders had closed. They couldn't go back. They felt uncertain what's going to happen. So the leadership and the government of Dubai decided, you know what, let's extend their visa. Then we noticed that a lot of people are starting to work virtually from Dubai. So we said, you know what, why not roll out a visa program that these people can apply for? Because they don't want to go back to a cold, rainy, gray country. <laughs> they so like true. the sun, sand and sea. What are your strategic priorities? Dubai's way and approach of actually going back to a new normal has been recognized by the world. So yes, we wanted to lock down immediately. We were the, one of the first countries in the world to lock down, strict lockdown with curfews. But at the same time, while we're putting the policies and procedures for safety first, we were automatically looking at how, and how quickly can we open up the markets again? Yes. Because for us, business continuity becomes extremely important. So we aligned the two things together and that's what made people realize Dubai is the place that they want to be. So our strategic objective as part of that is to make sure people understand that Dubai is one of the best places to live in. And also we spoke to a lot of people who have their businesses here and all of them said that the government was very, very supporting to them. How do you think, what will be the impact of Expo for Dubai? Expo is going to be such an event for us. If you think about over 190 countries are going to set up their own pavilions, individual pavilions, more than any other Expo before. You're going to have the world's eyes on Dubai. You're going to have the world participating in Dubai. Global companies, big, big companies from around the world bringing their friends, their families, their relatives. And it's an event that's promising to have some moment of celebration, some kind of event on their calendar at least once or twice a day, every day for six months. So it gives us a great chance to really plan, build, attract people to create a community and a society that keeps growing and growing and flourishing here in Dubai. What is the key of your hospitality? How do you lead that everyone feels so good, whoever are in Dubai? Because there are so many mixed nationalities, there are so many people, Absolutely. but still you, you feel very comfortable to be here. And for many people, Dubai became their home. It is simply because it's inherent and it's integrated into our culture. And Dubai from day one, if you notice, outside of the whole region, Dubai never relied on oil. Dubai was always built on trade, travel, tourism, and that's been the fundamental reason why Dubai has been able to achieve what it did. Yes. And to do that, they opened up the doors and they made it so comfortable for people to set up their business here, feel immediately at home, where everyone feels the same. And I talk about people around the world when I, when I, when I travel and I see them and I'm, I'm talking about how when you come to Dubai, and the reason why parents have moved to Dubai with their children is because yes. it's the one place that you have all these different nationalities that still maintain their unique identity. They celebrate their cultural celebrations together, their food, everything else, and everyone is living together in total peace and harmony. That unity, that, 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 weaving it into one fabric is unique to Dubai. And how it feels for you to see all of this, that now this amazing city is built up in front of your eyes. The transformation has been brilliant. Um, I remember growing up, seeing a lot of things around the world and, 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 and always thinking like, what are the chances of, of us seeing it in Dubai? And I, and I remember reading a, a tweet from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, where he himself said, he's like, I used to go to certain locations, iconic locations around the world with his father, the late Sheikh Rashid. And he's like, I would think to myself, why can't we have this in Dubai? I, have seen that and I've been lucky enough to live that journey. So like you said, when I, when I look at a building now and I remember that plot used to be just empty sand. We used to play football there. We used to set up the goals and used to play football there. Now when I tell my kids, oh, I used to play football here, they're just seeing blocks of buildings and they're thinking, <laughs> where? They, they can't cannot, imagine it. They you know? cannot imagine this. Many people think that Dubai is all about luxury lifestyle. It's all about rich people and they are afraid that they cannot afford. 
to visit Dubai and to have the, the kind of same life as the global stars do. They think that Dubai is only the place for people who are very successful and who have the budget for this. And is it true this perception of Dubai or not? I think the perception is absolutely wrong. But it is built on what Dubai became successful for. So you have many uh, products of Dubai that have helped put Dubai on the map that was with the perception, the aura of being luxury and expensive. For somebody who's looking for that, Dubai is definitely the perfect destination. However, there is so much depth to Dubai's offering. We, we literally have something to offer for any budget. Even in terms of our strategy that we rolled out in 2013, it was very clear. We're gonna have a lot more three and four star hotels, beautiful hotels that feels five star in its service and its quality. So people feel no matter what their budget is, Dubai can cater to them. Dubai is a very well known destination. It's everywhere in the magazines, in the journals, in the TV shows, and a lot of celebrities, global superstars, are coming in Dubai. Yes. What can you tell me about this? I think, look, I mean, that is that is the product of, of being being successful. I think for many reasons that we've discussed over and over again about Dubai safety, Dubai security, the breadth of Dubai's offering, almost all year round, perfect weather to be outdoors. It has become a huge attraction for many celebrities to visit Dubai because it's one place that they can come as couples, come as individuals, uh, many of whom, by the way, frequently visit Dubai but nobody hears about, and some of which which make the news. And for many reasons, they also find it a place where the kids can actually go out and enjoy themselves, the parents can go out and enjoy themselves and not feel worried about one another. So you're looking for the success in long term? 100%, and that's why the public-private sector relationship is important. We can make it easier for them to access Dubai, we can make it easier for them to visit Dubai, but also the private sector needs to make sure that they're looking after their guests from the hotels, restaurants, yes. everywhere else. They love the experience and they want to come back again and again. Dubai, it's not only the city. Dubai is becoming like a brand. What is the main idea of Dubai? I think when we started off, the main idea was Dubai is a family destination. And because for us, the family destination ticks so many boxes. It makes yes. people feel automatically it's a safe place. And then we look at it from a business perspective. You know that the lifestyle that people can have in Dubai, in terms of the weather, the infrastructure and everything else, where else would you want to establish a business? Plus, the central location geographically, east and west, it's, it's so interconnected. The connectivity yes. of the airport. The, it's the one way, of the best location for the airports. 100%. The and also look at the visa policies. It is so easy for people to access Dubai. So for a lot of them to come and meet in Dubai becomes much easier than anywhere else in the world. So for us, the strategic objective is for Dubai to really become more and more the center of the world in every sense of the word. So we want people to look at it for business, for visitation, for family, for, for rest and relaxation, for productivity, for connectivity, for whatever it is that they have on their agenda, Dubai is the ideal place for them. Thank you very, very much. Major success in less than 30 years. Dubai is writing its own history. All of this reminds me to a very famous proverb, nothing is impossible, and all of this in the middle of desert. Thank you.